Thank you so much. Um, I want to actually begin by thanking everyone because traditionally when I'm giving talks like this, I forget. So I thought it'd be best to start off with all the thanks. Is this okay? <laughs> I want to thank the NCCA, both in, here in Edinburgh and Moscow, for their invitation together with the university. But I want to thank um, especially Alisa Prudnikova, um, Ksenia Fedorova, and Leonid Bajanov for their collaboration with me. The Ural State Gorky University, as well as the Academy of Contemporary Art here in Ekaterinburg, especially Tamara Galiva, Sergei Kropotov, and Alexander Glistina, who I know worked very, very hard. I'd also like to thank uh, the NIEM sponsors that enable us to be here and that is the cultural services of the Ministry of Education and Culture of the Republic of Cyprus, as um, in particular, Dr. Eleni Nigida, who has also um, accepted an invitation to do the official opening in Moscow. I'd also like to thank the municipality of Ekaterinburg, and in particular, the Department of Culture as well as the Mun Municipal Museum of Fine Art. There are a few other people but, that I would like to thank, but then the list would go on and on. But there's one person in particular, and that is Anastasia Lukina, who is the person who, who saw the exhibition in Transition Cyprus 2006 in Limsol and appreciated its contribution. And she's the one who made the connection with her colleagues here in Ekaterinburg. And since then, she has been the coordinator of this project, coordinating between Ekaterinburg and Limassol, and doing a lot of running around. So she's a person that should really be acknowledged. Um, I would like now to just explain a little to you about Neem, because a lot of people don't really, apart from the name in Ekaterinburg, they're not sure about what we do. And Neem is a NGO, non-government organization, that has been started originally by Yanis Golakidis and I, and we are very proud to have uh, 30 members now, or just slightly over 30, some of whom are like, they're not just Cypriot, we've got international members. Essentially, NIEM functions on two platforms. One is a virtual platform that uh, you can visit their web our website on neem.org. <coughs> And it is this platform that actually has given us a, quite an international presence. And it's all through the hard work of our president, Yanis Golakiris, and we're very proud now um, to be on the reading list of over 40 universities worldwide, uh, as the some incredible texts on the meme site. The second platform, because we have more than two, but these, I'm going to describe the two main ones for you. The second platform is an itinerant platform, and that comes under the title of IMCA, or the Independent Museum of Contemporary Art. And it is the IMCA that presents exhibitions, both in Cyprus and abroad. So you will notice that if you read the catalog that it's always the IMCA, uh, NIEM through the IMCA. And so, um, 
and all the activities, all the, sh uh, all the exhibitions we have, again, are documented on neem.org. Okay, I want to now speak a little about In Transition Project and the history of it. I was very, in 2000, I met a wonderful artist, Sheila Pinkle, in Buenos Aires, in Argentina, because we were both taking part in the Biennale there and we connected and we knew that we wanted to work together and a few years later the opportunity came up for us to collaborate and we decided, we took the title of this collaboration from an ongoing project that Sheila has been working on for many many years called Mong in Transition. So we took In Transition and named this collaborative project In Transition. But it, then we decided that we wanted to have an international collaborative project, but not in the way that the mainstream curated package star shows work. We actually wanted to do a web call, an internet call, and leave it open so anyone who has experienced some form of displacement, whether they're artists or non-artists, because NEEM is an interdisciplinary group, could apply. And then we would make a selection from that, from a selection committee, from all the work submitted. And we were both overwhelmed by the amount of high quality submissions that we received from In Transition Cyprus and the same with In Transition Russia. <coughs> that the applications weren't limited to unknown artists. That we had incredible um, artists who have been documented in, in art history books decided that the project was so worthy of support that they also contacted us and we accepted them also. So it's, not, it's ended up being a, an enormously collaborative project on an international level. Um, this year, for In Transition Russia, we decided to invite, or we accepted to invite, uh, guest curator Lee Wells as well, a New York-based young curator. And, we, and he has created a, a special part of In Transition Russia called Drift. So it's a video program and you will have an opportunity to see that also. In Transition Project is an itinerant project. It moves from place to place because its core concern is displacement. Displacement of every kind, not just political displacement. And so it's, it's an inherent part of the project that is always searching for its own identity. And it is the individuals who participate in transition that give it form and content and that actually define the project. So you will see um, In Transition Russia has got a totally different feel than In Transition Cyprus because the input of the, this region transforms it. And this is exactly what we wanted right from the beginning. As it's an itinerant exhibition, it should allow itself also that the ability to, to transform and adapt to its particular environment. I think I'm taking much longer than the others, so I'm going to round it up. I'm sure my five minutes is up, so I'll speak very quickly. I want to actually quote a very close friend of mine. And um, when someone places, presents an idea, 
one cannot control where that, where that, where that idea goes. So if you have a, an object, sound, or an idea, and you, you place it in motion or in transition, in transit, one cannot control where it would land or stop. So the trajectory of that idea keeps it going. And in this case, In Transition Russia has certainly developed beyond Shil and I's initial concept. And it is actually developing while we're talking. Because the input of this conference and the input of the exhibition, the main exhibition, plus all the related events, create a dialogue and a, and a participation and experience that that in itself probably pushes the project forward. And we're hoping at the end At the end of the two months of In Transition Russia, that it already will be ready to move on and go beyond borders to another place, to another region in the world. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. There are a few more other things I wanted to say, but I think I've said enough. Thank you very much.